What's going on guys, Abdroid Sound here from AndroExtremist.com In this video I'm going to review my UI, MIUI, whichever you want to pronounce it That's the one we are going to review today, so let's go ahead and get to this review Now first of all, I want to correct myself on the how-to video of this ROM I said this used to be my, one of my favorite ROM I take it back, this is still my favorite ROM After flashing it, I still remember what I used to like and uh, Let's go ahead and let me show you all about this ROM. So first of all, that's the lock screen as you can see four ways. That's your phone, camera, text and bottom it's unlock. And in the middle, there is orange. Plus if you're playing music, this is the music control that appears right there. And uh, let's go ahead and unlock. And this is the home screen. I already changed the background and uh, flashed a couple of themes and mixed and all that. But I'm going to give you tips first. Once you get this ROM, you want to go to security and go to permission. And go to root manage application and make sure you turn this one on. Otherwise, your Titanium backup or your ROM manager, TWRP recovery, I mean, Goo manager or none of them will get root permission. Because they have their own security manager which controls the root permission. So make sure you turn that on. Reboot if you need to. And then install all the application which requires root permissions. Now, I did do restore from a titanium backup. Never had a problem because I did not restore any system data. Just the application that was missing with data. So most of the developers don't recommend restoring data. But I did it. And didn't have a problem. So let's go ahead and talk about this ROM. Now, first of all, you're going to go to setting. Scroll down all the way. And go to about phone. And right here is what you're running. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see it better. Device name and model number and all the other stuff right here. This is the above phone right here. You can check if there is a update and it will start checking. And mostly since MIUI hasn't done anything official on the Note 2, they have they have other developer on XDA that works officially on the ROM. So the team didn't do any work, but there are developers who works on this ROM. Now, first of all, when you go to setting, this is what you will see, the quick setting, which is really awesome. You don't have to browse all the stuff, which includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, brightness, and everything that you read here. Comes with a lot of awesome ringtones and stuff, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. Go to online, download some if you want. And uh, does come with a lot of customization, like status bar. Oops, let's go to status bar. And uh, you can... These are the toggles, guys. Let me go ahead and clear that. It says in Chinese because that's the theme. But this is the toggles right here. And the brightness, I'm going to turn on all the way full. And uh, let's go ahead and pull it back up. Now, those are the what I have right now, page. If you want compact, this is what you will get down here. I like the page because it really looks awesome. Then you can customize the toggle position collapse when clicked and uh, other status status bar uh customization right there are where you can find it now i want to turn that on so when i'm in lock screen it can open it up as well now unlike the samsung roms you're not going to find your mobile networks under more it's right here so you can change your apn and all that from right there i did have to put my APN under ATTPTA, it was already included, this wasn't selected default, so I had to change it because I thought I was getting more network in ATTPTA compared to the other default APN that he had. So make sure if you think you're not getting enough data or the speed is low, go and mess around with it. I'm sure it will work fine. It just need your little attention. And this is the LD default uh, customization thing right here. You don't need that LED light flow or blink LED or whatever the applications. You can always control all the applications from right here. That's a really great feature. And uh, under performance, you can mess around with your CPU. And this, these are some features that I use. I might have been missing some feature in setting. But I'm going to talk about themes next. Let's go ahead and go right here. And this is the themes we got. And I already downloaded. You can go to online. You need to create an account if you want to flash themes and download themes. 
The problem is the email you get for confirmation is in Chinese or whatever language this is. So you don't need to use Google Translator to translate it. Whatever link you get, just click on it and you will, what do you call, confirm your account. Once you get your account confirmed, you can go ahead and start downloading themes. So let me go ahead and show you what really amazing thing in this theme. So you don't have to press all this stuff. You can touch right here and select whatever you want so for um, on from this theme i really liked their status bar so that's my status bar from there but from other theme i liked from this theme i like their icons as you can see these are the icons that i have below so you can customize this more and more the way you want so this is better than sanajima 10 or AOKP because this does run light. Let me go ahead and show you this uh, task manager right here. It's only 748 megabytes of RAM used. RAM used. You can press this and it will swipe all the things below. And as you can see, 253 megabytes got free. And it's, this is really light ROM. Doesn't use a lot of uh, memory and customization compared to other ROMs are more. And you can find more and more themes. This is the most themed ROM you will find. Now, as you can see in security folder, these are the application it comes with. Now you can go to MI credits, my credits, where if you want to download a theme that costs money. Now there are there are different things right here: app control, backup, monitor, guard, and all that. Let's go to monitor and let me talk you through about monitor. Now this is the data monitor. I set my cap to five gigabyte, even though I have unlimited data on AT and T. They do cap it at five, so I'd set it up and it will let me know. Plus, if you're downloading any application from Play Store, it will directly ask you to download that application through Wi Fi because it's a large application. But you can go ahead and unselect that and proceed with your data connection because some application from Google does come with 13 megabytes. So that's really cool because people who live internationally they don't have as fast data as we do in America. And right here are their traffic stats and which application is using the most. Then we can go to other application like antivirus. If you want to check out, you can go out and do that. But protection right here, you can security lock and uh, you see your lock screen protection as well. So you can go ahead and mess around with that. Their own voice dialer. So you can go ahead and mess around with that. They come with Apollo music player from Sanjima 10. Comes with their own music player, which is swear to God they had it. Well, it's somewhere right here, but they do come with their own music player as well, and uh, some application that comes with Fire Explorer. That's their own file explorer, and uh, comes with a lot, a lot, nice theme. Every theme you download, themes mostly everything. And uh, I really don't want to go in my personal information because I'm using this ROM as a current, and. Uh, I don't feel the need for you guys to know what I'm doing, but right here is the browser, and uh, these are the shortcuts that you get with their default browsers. So you can go to YouTube, MIUI, Bygo, that's their own website over there that sells more, eBay, Twitter, YouTube, Google, Yahoo, like one click, and those are good bookmarks because those are the things that are mostly used on your android most of the people on average use they use those websites and uh, the launcher is like i like ios launchers so they don't there is no app drawer or anything and this is where you got all your widgets right here it's long press it and select and drag and drop that's how it works and as i said this is more like ios look of an android and stability is awesome guys everything works as you can see, I took some pictures and I can take it right now. The video works too. As you can see, so to make this ROM a daily stable ROM, everything does work. And that's why I really love this ROM. Uh, I always had this thing about miui and always fault for it now let me show you the transaction effect that this thing gives you like if you select 
right now. Uh, let's see what it. Betting. Go back. So they they have really cool transaction effect. Like if you go to an application. Right now, I feel, I feel like some for some reason it's not selected, but you can go to setting. Let me go ahead and show you real quick before I end this video. And uh, launcher. And right here, transaction effects. And you can select cross and fade because that's really good transaction. Then you can mess around with launcher right here, icon shadow and all that. Then they have their this cloud service. I don't know what it is actually, but they do have it. I haven't messed around with it yet. And uh, there you go. This was a quick review of MIUI ROM, which is my favorite ROM as of right now. And everything works, guys. So make sure you go ahead and try it out. And you can restore your data and application. Make sure it's not system application. So it doesn't mess around with your thing. Now, again. This is the lock screen and uh, there you go if you get a call and stuff the background in the call is really awesome picture that you saw in lock screen as well and as always guys thank you for watching if you think this review needed a little bit more information go ahead and comment and let me know what i missed so i can better my review next time and uh, thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next video